All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four legs scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. Lord's willing, as always, pray. Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. He allowed these lessons to be edifying to those of the whole four elect. All right, and um, you know, you know, based on the uh, you know, like breaking news, so to say, topic of the week, you know, with Esau uh, making mention of the Hebrew Israelites and uh, deeming us as a, a domestic terrorist group. You know, you see that E uh, is ready to put a clamp. Uh, a, a gag order you know so to say upon the lord's prophets all right but you know it's not of the the power of e it's of the power of yahweh by shimmy i was shy all right the lord have sent the prophets to speak and it's the lord to shut the prophets up but you have esau which thinks that if he shut the prophets up he could defeat prophecy you know as if um he shut the prophets up and everything goes accordingly to his will. All right. Well, we live in the world which Yahweh Bar Shimei Shai have created for us. All right. And the Lord is above us. And actually, he's the one who governs this world in the palm of his hand. And matter of fact, since I said that, let me see if I can uh, grab that quick precept. This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 18 and 3. It says, Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. For he is king of all, by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. All right, so it's the Lord that is king of all. Matter of fact, it says, And all things obey his will for he is the king of all by his power dividing holy things among them from profane and profane means outside the temple okay the holy which means what separate okay something you hold in great value or high reverence okay like the name of the lord his his name is hallowed it is separate okay it is holy but profane all right, that's outside the temple. So the Lord is separating his elect from among this wicked society. All right, in this wicked world of Esau's rulership. All right, so let me read that one more time. Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 18, verse 3. Who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. For he is the king of all by his power dividing holy things from among them from profane. All right. Now, let me I'm thinking of another scripture here. Let me go into the, the book of Daniel. Let's see. This is the book of Daniel's chapter two and uh, verse twenty one. It says, and he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. I thank thee and praise thee, O Yahweh of my fathers, who has given me the wisdom and might and has made known unto me now what we desire of thee for thou has now made known unto us the king's matter you know and it's going back into daniel all right um going back into uh his dream okay for having the uh knowledge of king nebuchadnezzar's dream the lord says what and he changeth the times and seasons. Who? That's the heavenly father. Yahweh. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. So who set up Esau? Who allowed him to conquer the Israelites first and foremost? Who 
allowed him to conquer the the uh, you can say the northern kingdom, the Gadites and the Reubenites here in North America when he came pillaging. Okay, when he set up covenants, which none of them he kept. And he broke every last one of them with the Gadites and the Reubenites. All right, so who set him up to, to have this world that we live in today? And now that we're living through what? Technology, which is a form of power on the left-hand side. All right, the left-hand side of the Most High. It's witchcraft. Who set him up? It's the Heavenly Father. It says he removeth kings and he setteth up kings. So who's going to remove you Edomites? The Heavenly Father. All right, by the way of his son and the angels. But what he used was his prophets to speak. Because all we are is just messengers. But see, E, he wants us to stop speaking the words of the Lord. Because he figures that it will upset the prophecy. Well, guess what? When that time come, when the Lord remove his prophets... Okay, and shut up the prophets, then guess what comes after that? Yahweh's Mashapat. All right, the Heavenly Father's judgment. All right, and um, that leads me to my first precept. Well, second precept. All right, here in um, Ezekiel, the third chapter. Uh, let me see. I'm going to get straight to the point. This is Ezekiel chapter 3. And 24, then the spirit entered into me and set me up upon my feet and spec with me and said unto me, go shut thyself within thy house. But thou, O son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee and shall bind thee with them and thou shalt not go out among them. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover for they are a rebellious house because the prophets are sent to the Israelites all right they sent where the Israelites are to warn them of their wickedness all right before the heavenly father judged them with great judgment but not only to their people to our people all right to the Israelites but also to condemn the wicked cities all right, from the unrighteous uh, judges, from the unrighteous kings who runs the world. And right now in this age, who runs the world? Esau. So the job of a prophet, matter of fact, I'm going to come back to that. Let me go into um, the book of Jeremiah once again. All right, Jeremiah chapter 28 and... Uh, Verse 8, it says, The prophets that have been, the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and, and, and of pestilences. The prophets which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh hath truly sent him. Alright, so the prophets of old, even Jeremiah said, the prophets that have been before him, they prophesied both against many countries. So a prophet's job, which is he being sent, all right, to warn the Israelites of their wickedness, but also to condemn the wicked societies and rulerships. So it says against many countries, against great kingdoms. Is not America a great kingdom? All right, is not Russia a great kingdom? Is not China a great kingdom? All right. Is not uh, these Arab countries, you know, that run they were, is they not a great kingdom right now? All right. But majorly, the great kingdom is America. All right. Babylon the Great. Is not Britain a great kingdom? All right. It says um, of war, all right, and of evil and of pestilence. The prophet which have prophesied peace. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophets be known that Yahweh have truly sent them. So when the Lord allowed these devils to shut up the prophets and to stop speaking his word, then shall the prophets be known that Yahweh have truly sent them. Because everything that 
the prophets prophesize about, and I mean the true prophets, not the false prophets. And you have to have uh, the spirit, the Rakakwadash, to understand who are telling the truth and who are telling lies. All right, the Lord has to be dealing with you. You know, the Lord did say, He said, the deceive and the deceiver is His. All right, so the true men of the Lord, true sisters, all right, that believe in this truth, they're going to be able to determine who are the true and who are the false. So in that time, it says, then shall the prophet be known that Yahweh have truly sent him because why? Everything that the prophet said has come to pass because what he'd been saying was not really of him. It was of the heavenly father. All right, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. It was of the great calling and message that he was sending across the world okay so now let me go back to that ezekiel i was in the book of ezekiel chapter three Let's see if i can find it again i believe ezekiel three and um 25 but thou son of man behold thou shalt put bands they shall put bands upon thee and shall bind thee with them and thou shalt not go out among them and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. So is this, will this be new? All right, that the Lord shut up the prophets? No. Okay, it's a time when the prophets speak. It's a time and season when the prophets don't speak. Ecclesiastes 3 and 1. It's a time and season and purpose uh, up under the heavens, roughly paraphrasing. All right, and we're in that time of speaking. All right, you can say the, the, the uh, damage been done. Okay, there's no damage control that can control this word of the Lord. The Lord said his word is like fire. All right. And you people are the wood. So when this word goes out, people get put on fire. You know, spiritually. Before the physical. The physically. All right. Which is uh, by the ways of thermonuclear fire. In the acts of World War III, which is Armageddon. Okay. That's prophecy. It says, that, it says that thou shall be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, He that heareth, he that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house, which are you Israelites, meaning you two thirds. Okay, because the one third is going to get it. All right, so from there, let me go on to another precept, Matthews 24 and 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So the damage been done. All right, the damage of the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shai, which is going to lead me to the next precept, all right, has basically been done. The spirit of the Lord's mouth. Okay, because all over the world, this gospel has gone out. All right, you can say it started uh, in New York and from New York and over the years, it's been spread through the four corners, man. All right, by all of the true prophets of the Lord and, and tell you of that chart. Okay, the 12 tribe chart, that sign and telling you who you who you are as these people, according to the scriptures. That's the, the awakening, all right? The wake up who? The elect, the hopeful elect. So it's been preached through the four corners. Almost everybody in the world, celebrities, man, they know that we so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Seminole Indians, West Indians, so-called Haitians, so-called Mexicans, all right? So-called Native American Indians, that we are the Hebrew Israelites, not black. It's not a black thing. We're not black Hebrew Israelites, we're Hebrew Israelites. Just like Esau, he's a Hebrew Edomite. Okay. So um, I read it one more time. Matthew 24 and 14. For this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. For witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So the end is coming. So when you shut up the prophets. All right. When the Lord shut up the prophets. The end is nigh. The end is near. All right. The end is near. When you shut up the prophets, the end is around the corner, man. All right. Let me uh, grab another scripture. 
Okay, we read that. Let's go into 2 Thessalonians, and I'll jump straight to it. 2 Second, uh, Thessalonians chapter 2. And um, start at verse 7. For the mysteries of iniquity doeth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. All right. And then shall the wicked man be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So that's the point. All right. It says, and then shall the wicked be revealed. Who's the wicked? That's Esau. They don't want to be the wicked, even though they have shown the world that they are the wicked. Every nation know that Esau is the wicked. They call him the blue eyed devil. OK, they call him the uh, all sorts of names, man. Every nation has a, a byword, proverb against these Edomites, you know. So it says, and then shall the wicked be revealed. You've been revealed. History shows your track record. OK, but they, they instead they have this propaganda and they have all this distractions going on. They don't want you to know the history. They don't want you to know the true history, I should say. You know, they want to teach, you know, your children. If you uh, so-called Negro Latino, they want these children to believe that that you was a volunteer slave that came over here on cargo slave ships to build up, to help build up the kingdom that we live in today. And that's a goddamn lie. All right. That is a lie, man. Because they're lying to hide the fact of what they done but the scriptures say and then shall the wicked be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth that's deep all right because the spirit of his mouth was with words words man words the prophets prophesizing the true word of the lord Spreading the gospel, the good news, revealing who the wicked is. All right. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. You know, when Yahweh shall crack those clouds, man. Okay. When he come through those clouds with, with Michael, the archangel. All right. And the rest of the angels. And that war, that war spirit ready to rage war against you Edomites okay that's when he's going to destroy you so by shutting up the prophets you're fulfilling prophecy you are fulfilling prophecy it says the spirit of his mouth matter of fact it says whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth that's one part and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. That's another part. So this is all prophecy, man. We almost home. We almost out of here. You know? The Lord is speeding up these prophecies. He's getting things, you know, intact. In you know, putting things in its rightful order. All right? Meanwhile, well, let me say also, too, Elder Apostle Tahari coined this year, the year of hasting until the coming of our Lord. So the Lord is, is ready. Hey, Yahweh Shai is getting ready. <laughs> Lord is getting ready, even though he don't know his time, but he see the prophecies too. Don't think Yahweh Shai ain't, ain't uh, meditating. Okay, he meditating. He just don't know the day neither, but he's meditating. All right, he see what's going on down here. He see things linking up, you know? <laughs> all right let's read this um last precept and i'm and i'm out all right lord will not pray this is lessons edifying it's a little different but uh i hope it's edifying this is matthew 24 and 32 now learn the parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and put it forth leaves ye know that summer is nigh exactly all right we can tell now that it's, it's starting to warm up the snow melting all right, you can see the grass and dirt again. You know, the seasons are changing, okay? So we can tell that, you know, we should be able to tell and measure the time that we're living in. So it says, so likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, 
Know that it is nigh, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all things be fulfilled. So shutting up the prophets and taking them off the street corners, all right, being persecuted, it's all prophecy. One thing after another, okay? Let me read that again, man. Verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled, till all the prophecies be fulfilled. Not skipping over, not skipping over any prophecy. But till all these prophecies be fulfilled. All right. So we supposed to be able to tell the times in which we're living in. All right. The Lord gave us the signs. Rumors of wars, earthquakes, diverse places. Okay. Eventually it's going to come a time of Jacob's trouble, sedition among men, a famine of food and water, a famine on the word. You can't teach or learn his truth anymore. They're censoring you. It's, you can see it. You can see it. If you can't see it, you need to pray, you know, to see it. All right. Verse 30, uh, verse 35, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away because the heavenly father's word in, endure forever, man. OK, just like his laws that he gave unto the Israelites, that contract, it endure forever. The root four and one. All right. Uh, verse 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So no angel, not even Yahweh Shai know the exact day. But you better believe Yahweh Shai ain't sleeping. <laughs> he meditating, man. All right. Just like we're meditating. All right, okay. And watching. Verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and you can see Israelite different Israelite camps out here today preparing themselves for you know the most fanciest biggest Passover ever you know because you know last year uh, Esau well let me say Yahweh Bashim Shai disrupted their fancy uh, lamb's dinner Passover So you know this year they want to do it big But uh, you can see um, uh, Certain camps Trying to find their best dress Their best stitch You know treating the Passover as if it's a lamb's dinner Okay Scriptures say we're always bearing about in the dying of the Lord Man the Passover is a Solomon sim It's a Solomon meeting man It's serious Okay Yahweh Shai kept his last Passover Very serious Yahweh Shai was of a heavy heart at the time Okay, he was going to have to go up on the cross, you know, so how much more us? <laughs> Man, see, but it just proves the scriptures. So, hey, there's got to be uh, uh, those, all right, that's going to be just like in the time of Noah. It has to be. For as the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. And like the elder brought out, Elder Manatazak. Uh, he did the show a couple of weeks ago or a week ago or two, a couple of days about IUIC having a dance off. You know, they always in this merry spirit and they're going to get caught sleep. You know, they're going to get caught sleeping and they house robbed, you know, just as the parable went, as the parable goes in the scripture. You know, we're not, we supposed to keep our garments, man, and, and, and not let the thief come and rob our house. If we was up and watching, the thief could not rob us, you know. Hey, the Lord said himself, he come as a thief in the night. <laughs> so anyway, uh, verse 39, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the son of man be. Then sh uh, shall two be in a field and one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill and one shall be taken and the other left. Watch therefore for ye know not what hour your Lord do come and why um, one was taken and the other left because now it's about an election it's about that special election you know of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. so not all Israel is going to be delivered but those that are of the elect they're going to be delivered man 
verse 43 but know this that if the good man of the house had known yeah here we go have known in what watch the thief would come he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up so there you go you know that's what i was speaking about about the thief robbing his house they're gonna get caught sleep it says therefore be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye think not the son of man come who then is a faithful and wise servant whom his lord have made ruler over his household to give them meat and due season you see so it's all about having this uh this oil okay this meat this understanding knowledge wisdom and understanding scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times verse 46 blessed is that servant whom his lord have blessed is that servant whom his lord when he cometh shall find so doing verily i say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods all right and we know that everything is under obedience under Yahweh Shai. So if we've been found to do that which is good, you know, found uh in, in this uh in doing these works, all right, the Lord said he would make him ruler over all his goods. So everything of the earth and even out of the earth is of Yahweh Shai. So we have partaker of that. Matter of fact, the elect is joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. All right, when Yahweh Shai glorified, they'll be glorified. When Yahweh Shai suffered, they're going to suffer. So it says, verse 48, But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord, delay of his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day, when he looketh not for him, and in an hour that is, and in, and in an hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. All right, so I know this lesson is pretty long. I hope this lesson was edifying to those of the whole four elect. You know, the uh, gag order is coming for the brothers to speak the truth. You know, might even be persecuted. And um, we know that this is part of prophecy. All right, and this is why it's very important that you should have been seeking mercy from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, while the evil days come not, because we're approaching that great and evil day. Okay, so Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.